Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard to get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse! <laughs> doing with it. Again, hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <clears throat>
value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jesse, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Well, you need to take us to her. It's really, really important. No, uh, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. I'm here to reassemble the Order, all right? You know the Order? Eligard's old gang? Hmm... You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Of course, you might also want to hang on to it. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. I have no idea how it works, but that is pretty amazing. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. Some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. You got a spare repeater? I mean, yes, I do. But will I share it with you? Mm, no, afraid not. I might need it, so sorry. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Ooh, lava curtain. That is flashy. Hi. 
Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Elagard's future protege might make, no? What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. The perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Elagard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cow. Just stay away from that little, uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? What little lies is he whispering? I told him I wouldn't tell you, but he thinks your music is terrible. That little, uh, I'm about to show him. Hey, uh, yo, schoolboy. Uh, we're gonna have some words. Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people? Guess I just call them like I see them. Ooh, you are just... Oh no, my machine! Oh, my cows! Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit! Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! But notice you checking out my cowapult, friend. It's got an easy-to-use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. <gasps> oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. Especially the ones that survive. Of course not. Pig, you're seriously missing out here. <laughs> Hey, have you seen all these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. Seems like this place has really blown you away. You're not kidding. This is like everything I've ever dreamed of. I would have thought you'd be up in people's faces talking about inventions. I want to, but I'm a little worried. I might know Redstone where we come from, but these people are the real deal, Jesse. I mean, I don't even know how they're making some of these things. That's rare for me. <sighs> You're just as good as them, Olivia. Just be confident. Maybe, but thanks for the vote of confidence. So Eligard's trying to make a command block in there? I know. I heard that too. I'm actually not sure how I feel about that. I mean... There's no way we misheard her, right? If she can really make another command block, maybe we could use it. I don't know, Jesse. That sounds pretty risky. You saw what happened when Ivor tried to control a command block. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Bam! Door open. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. 
good. Wow, here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal, we'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. <laughs> what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. It looks like I can adjust the settings on this thing. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients, it must be something really, really big. Now, I don't want to alarm you, Olivia, but I have no idea what I'm looking at here. I don't know what it is yet either. That's why I'm studying it. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. You doing all right? Yeah, you and me both, buddy. Getting excited? Like you wouldn't believe. I wonder what she'll really be like in person. Hmm. Are those? That? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit.
This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request, operational. Delivery latency, speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Uh-huh, okay. Her Whoa, hi, hey. Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Jesse, she thinks we're her new assistants. Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. <laughs> wow. Now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Fine, I I'll just do it myself then. Come on, come on, come on. Big winner, big winner, big. Loser! Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Brilliant thoughts, gone. <laughs> I have to confess something, Eligard. We're not here to be your assistants. Ooh, kind of glad, actually. What with Madame faints a lot over there. <laughs> so, why are you here? We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory with a side of sweet, sweet redstone engineering. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. You've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So, could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing, or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. That sounds perfect. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here, in my brain. I could help, too. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
sighting. Has it gotten this far before? No, never! Is it destabilizing? you're back and we brought Eligard fantastic quick come on you guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone Gabriel hello everyone it is good to see you he showed up not too long before you guys Eligard my old friend boy are you a sight for sore eyes Maybe with you here, we actually stand a chance against this thing. Oh, how I've missed your optimistic spirit. Oh, and it's especially good to see you, Jesse. I fear that you might be the last face I ever saw. And getting here was hard. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. If you hadn't pulled me out of the Witherstorm's clutches, well, let's just not think about that. I came here to the temple. Hoping against hope to find other survivors. It makes me glad that, even in these terrible times, this temple can stand as a stronghold. A symbol. Wow, did Petra get away too? Did you see? All that creature left in its wake was bedrock. And all those people. Your friend Petra. No one could get away. It destroyed my home too. I barely got away. It needs to be stopped. We are alive. That means there's still hope. Come along. Everyone else is still inside. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? This isn't going to go well. Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little... adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. 
Everyone just coming and going around here. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, huh? We're reuniting the Order of the Stone. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Did you say king? Yeah, I did. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to beat him. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus, that's very... sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome. And super cool. I'll never understand your fans. Eligard, come on. I know this isn't how the plan was supposed to go, but it's going to be fine. Ha! Fine. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops? This arguing isn't helping anything. You want to stop that thing? You're going to need some serious firepower. Jesse speaks the truth. We must find a way to defeat that monstrosity. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna stop it? Well, let's not panic, first of all. That's a good first step. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here. He might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. Wait, Magnus. She may have a point. Soren did have certain objects, inventions. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I got a legitimate idea here. There's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. But I've never... Well, the Formidabomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is, but we found Magnus and Eligard. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on, well, I'll just think I'm completely nuts. Thank you so much for all the help. I, I know we haven't always gotten along the best in the past, but you've been so great. Wow. That means a lot, Jesse. Thank you.
Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. Hey, Gabriel. Well, go on, Jesse. Show them what you can do. Olivia, you okay? I'm all right. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be okay. I hope you're right. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. That's probably the only time you made the right call. So he'll help us, right? Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Oh, that's not good. That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! Not too far, we could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go now. It's so bad that you're gonna just go waltzing out in the woods at night. It's not night yet. We'll just go as fast as we can. I think Magnus might be right. And he's not usually a big fan of safety. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan. But fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Yo, we haven't really gotten a chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. Gabe over there says you saved him from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? Leaving the creepers quaking in their boots. I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. I kinda wish you had my back before, but whatever. Still seem all right. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you wanna hug it or just walk away. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk sometimes, but he's our jerk. You know? Can't help but like him. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your 
cup of tea or didn't think you could handle it. I do have that effect on people sometimes. I figured that we needed brains to fight the Witherstorm. And brains means Eligard. Yeah, I've definitely heard that a lot. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. See? This is why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. We can hash all that out later, because we got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Zorin? It can't be much further. Not much farther. We can make it. isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! thought so too. Yeah, I'm fine. How about you, Ruben? What a rush. Whoa. Look. What is that? Enderman. Oh, I'm glad we made it. Looks rough down there. Yeah, no kidding. Come on. We should get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Wow. This architecture is incredible. Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. Oh, be quiet! It's just a pointless building! That's all I'm saying! I mean, look at... If an artist painted the inside, that's it! I'm going! Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this Super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no! You do not get to be the one who walks away! That's it! I'm going! See? I'm walking away too now! Super TNT! Here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. 
What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Hey, Jesse? Yeah? It's Gabriel. He... I don't know. He doesn't seem right. I tried asking, but... Maybe he'll talk to you? Hey, Gabriel. Hello, Jesse. You okay? Soren the Builder, Magnus the Rogue, Eligard the Engineer, Gabriel the Warrior. <laughs> 